Now, I've been saying from the start we should have round up dead sick and thrown them in jail. Now, I say they should all be lined up and shut. You don't find it awfully convenient that they've been fingered as the attackers, but we've seen no proof. Look at town! Look at our city! What more proof do you need? Well, Colin, I'd say you have to look at their history of non-violent action. Albion's put more civilians in the hospital in the past few months than DedSec ever has. I smell a scapegoat. Now I have Emily calling in. Emily, what's your take? You're absolutely right, Claire. The government's just framing DedSec because they want to make it seem like they have this under control. They probably have no clue who was behind the bombings. But that doesn't look good on the news, does it? DedSec's been a thorn in their side. Who better to pin it on? Angie, I have you next. What do you make of all this? I think, if anything, dead sex showed their true colours. It's terrifying to think we harboured such a dangerous element for years. Terrorists in our own backyard. Do you find dead sex more frightening than the different gangs in London, like Clan Kelly? Clan Kelly might set your shop on fire and maybe they'd kill you, but even they wouldn't try to blow up all of Parliament. Next, I have Crypto King. Do you feel safer using a pseudonym? Everyone should. Why make it easier for them to track you? And now we've seen what they're capable of and how far they're willing to go. Hold on. Do you mean the government? Are you suggesting the government was responsible for the bombings? Oh, trust me, Claire. They didn't do it alone. They're all in on it. The government, Albion, Sirs, Bloom, Sky Bloody Larson, and all the way up to Downing Street. They want to keep us scared, harness us with, with mind control, suck every last ounce of usefulness out of us, and, and even in death they'll sell off our bodies. And what do you suggest we do, Crypto King? Go underground. Deep enough, no electric signal can get you. It's the only way. Well, thank you to all of our callers today, and thank you for tuning in and scouting for the truth along with me. Next week, Buccaneer Radio will be diving into the Albion Corporation. Just who are these men and women being paid lucrative amounts for the city's defence? Are they protecting us? Protecting London? Or someone else's interests? See you next week, fellow pirates. Claire Waters, out. Let's get the people of London on board.